Hi guys, this is a quick review of the Ryobi corded electric pole saw. As you can see, this is a, basically it's a an 8 inch electric chainsaw on a steak. Um, read just the stats off the box here. Um, it's a 6 amp motor. The bar and chain is 8 inches. The cut capacity is 6 inches, although I believe I cut some branches that were bigger than 6 inches diameter today. The extended length of the pole is 9 feet. The collapsed length is 6 feet 5 inches. The weight is 8.5 pounds. Uh, I put this thing through a torture test today. I had a lot of overgrown trees on my rental property and uh, I didn't want to pay some guy 600 bucks to come out and cut the trees down. So I figured I can do it myself and I did. Uh, this cost right at $100. It was $99.99, something like that, which is a typical price for uh, electric pole saws. That's about what you'll find on them. Uh, I put this thing through its paces today. I made hundreds of cuts with this thing. Uh, you do have to, as with all chainsaws, keep an eye on the oil levels. Make sure that you're adding the uh, bar and chain oil, which uh, it did not use excessive amounts of oil. I used it all day long and had to refill the oil one time. Um, the chain, as you can see here, it's a little bit loose. It's got a little bit of slack in it. Uh, I did have to stop in the middle of the day and retighten the chain, which can be expected on an electric chainsaw, any chainsaw for that matter. Uh, the chain will stretch out and relax a little with a lot of use. Uh, I cut branches that I would say were 8 inch diameter with this thing. Um, and once I got started, I just couldn't stop. I, I, I cut, cut back probably 10 trees today, plus a lot of uh, fallen branches, fallen whole trees that were in the back of the property. And uh, this thing performed flawlessly. It, uh, it will bind, just like any chainsaw, if you have a branch that is under pressure as, and the cut causes the, uh, causes the branch to pinch the chain, it can uh, bind. I had that happen a couple of times, uh, nothing too serious, just basically wiggling the saw and it freed itself right up. Uh, I was very, very impressed with this. I took some video, but... Uh, Basically, it was a working day, so I didn't get a whole heck of a lot of video, but uh, this thing really performed well. Um, it's, it's not exactly what I would call heavy, but when you have it at the full 9-foot extension, 8.5 pounds is the weight. When you have it at full extension, 8.5 pounds over your head at arm's length gets, uh, gets heavy pretty quick. But uh, I think this thing did the job of a much bigger chainsaw and it, uh, it let me reach branches that were easily 12 to 13 feet off the ground. Uh, no problems whatsoever, no complaints. Uh, this thing has a lot of five-star ratings online, and uh, I would have to say I would give it a four-and-a-half or a five-star rating. It uh, really, really does the job, and if you've got if you're trying to cut down giant redwoods, it's probably not going to work, but for a standard yard trimming, trimming back overhanging branches, and I cut some pretty big branches with this thing, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, I would have to give it two thumbs up and five stars. As always, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.